doing? Well, I'm gonna make a crypt wall for my garage door. Pretty cool, huh? Think you might want to make one for yours? Follow along and I'll show you how. Yeah, my desk is messy. <laughs> Apologize for that, but I've been doing a lot of crafting. Okay, so what I have is uh, I've measured the garage door. And you know how they have the little squares, the little rectangles on them? I've measured those. These are going to be fitted by magnets over the front of those. So I've printed out some different epitaph sayings. And I'm going to... Dremel those out with my Dremel tool. Now, I just have paper because I don't have a vinyl cutter. So, what I've got <clears throat> is this spray adhesive. Now, it says it works with foam right there. But, I learned something while I was doing my tombstones. Don't spray this on the foam. Spray it on the paper, then stick it to the foam. Otherwise, you will get some eaten areas of foam. Otherwise, it works great. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. I had taped it down originally just to find its placement. Take my spray adhesive. And just spritz it on the back there. Doesn't have to be too crazy because we do want to be able to get it off. And then slide it back down. Make sure I get it straight. That'd be nice. See how that already sticks? And see how it ate just a little bit of my foam? But that's okay because, you know, it's supposed to look old and everything. So it'll be good because I sprayed too much right there. All right. Got my Dremel tool. I got these awesome micro micro carving blades from Harbor Freight and I've got one in here already I just need to adjust my depth and get started helps if I have it plugged in So there's that one. I didn't make you watch all of it. I wasn't as careful to follow the outline of these letters because they're so small, but I also think it adds adds to it as if maybe the ghost came in and carved that later. Um, you can see there's a little bit of eating away at the foam right there with the spray adhesive, but that's okay because we're going to age these up. It'll look fine. And uh, I only have to do this 31 more times because I counted and there's 32 rectangles on my garage door. Uh, I won't make you watch all that, I promise. Uh, my G, I messed up a little bit because I was trying to do that left-handed because I had the camera on the right-hand side. And then I switched and the rest of them turned out better. So, yeah, because I'm, I'm right-handed. That wasn't working for me. Anyway, but that's what it looks like when we peel off the paper. And like I said, I'm going to do this 31 more times. And then we'll paint. Stick around. Okay. <laughs> so I've cut out almost all of the plaques for my crypt ball. Turned out pretty good. And I'm just taking a handsaw right now and giving some age and character to these things. Like, just like that. Uh, I think that should look like there's some claws. Especially on the older ones, I want to give them some age. So, yeah, that's not really an older one. Let's see. And I'm just gonna just go in at this side and just rip. 
careful you don't rip into yourself. And then when I heat it with the heat gun, we'll see what it does. I'm just giving some texture and some age to those. And all the way through. Oops. Oh well. And we'll see how it looks. They don't have to be the same every time. Just giving it some some age there, as though perhaps, you know, over the years, the edges are broken and worn off. I do have some newer uh, tombstones I won't be doing that with, but I will still be hitting with the heat gun in order to, uh, to give some texture, like stone. when we get to the painting process. It's time to paint in the letters. <laughs> okay, so I discovered a trick. Originally, I was going to try to uh, wash the letters in. Wasn't working too well for me. So I happen to have this little squeeze bottle. It's great. I just mixed up my wash and then I squirted in the letters. Fill them in real good. Like so. Then, <laughs> I take it and I pour it back in my bowl so I can reuse it. At least what goes back in there. And that gets into all those little nooks and crannies. And then I can uh, just clean it up a little bit, brush it across the surface, get it into some of those nooks and crannies of the heat treatment. Garbage truck's running. You can probably hear that. But yeah, this is working out like fantastic. So that's uh, much easier than trying to get a paintbrush <laughs> down into all these little little words, little letters. It's painting time! So I have a foam roller. Rex, say hi babe. Hi babe. Is getting the edges with a brush and I'm just rolling that paint. Like so. onto my tombstone, or what are these? Crypt wall plaque thingies. Yeah, those things. It's working out pretty well. He'll have to go in and fill in some of these cracks with a brush. Later on, while I was doing my lettering bed, mm -hmm. I, uh, <laughs> I went in and, and got some of these spots so that it looked pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. So that, here, there's an, one for you. So that when I rolled over it, the black would show through, not the blue. And hoping that it looks kind of like granite. I think I'm a little ham on the aging on a couple of these. 
Uh, don't you tell me what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm giving you my opinion. Anyway, that's what we're doing right now. We'll let you know what they end up looking like. Now they're all painted. And they are drying on where what used to be the hood of Rex's car. <laughs> right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> but I think they turned out great. Just each one is a little bit different. Makes them unique. We'll see what they look like when they dry, but I think they're gonna be awesome. They're dry! <laughs> well, I'm waiting on my hot glue gun to heat up. I ordered some magnets. They're not the preferred magnets that I wanted to use, but I'm out of time. I think these are going to work pretty well, especially if I use four of them on each. Epitaph. Uh, crypt wall tomb thingy, whatever you call them. So I got a whole stack of them here. And I'm going to hot glue four magnets to the back of each one. It is Thursday before Halloween, which is this Saturday. So I'm pressed for time. I got to work with what I've got. And I want to get this done today. So let me get to work. All right, I think it's hot enough. Just got some glue coming out. These magnets each have a little dimple on the north polarity side. So I'm all gonna I'm gonna put that dimple down on each one of these. So here we go. Just a little glue and stick it on there. Press it down real good. Hope this works. Real easy, right? All right, the first one is done. I only have to do that 31 more times. <laughs> I always take on larger projects than I probably should, which is why I don't get nearly as many things done as I want to for Halloween every year, but I've accomplished a lot of stuff this year, so I can't complain. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of these and I'll tune you back in when it's time to stick them up and show you how it looks. I finally got it done. My garage door crypt wall is finished. Let's take a look. That's my garage door. Looks pretty cool, huh? Get a little closer here. You can see that the finished ones are just uh, magnets. 128 magnets that I've hot glued to the back of this half inch foam insulation board. I measured out the inner rectangular area there and then cut that down. It took one sheet to get the 32 8 by 15 pieces that I need. Your door may be different. But I think it gives it, I mean it, it was just a blank space before and now it actually looks like it's part of Halloween. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy with the way they turned out. Ah, they look great. Some of them I didn't wait for it to dry before I rolled the gray over and it created this really cool marbling effect. So yeah, love it. And tomorrow is Halloween, so I finished it in the nick of time. I'll get a night picture, and then I'll upload this video.